Hello, we are here. It's a nice day. Time to film. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. Today, I thought I would do a little bit of a different kind of video for you. It's kind of like a hacks video. It's kind of like a tips advice video. So that's what we're gonna get into. So basically I wanted today's video to be like an easy sleep bedtime hacks video. I have insomnia so it's always been really really hard for me to get to sleep without medication but I have practiced some of these things on this list that I have come up with that I'm going to share with you that have really really helped me be able to get to sleep and get to sleep on a good time. So I figured why not share them with you because they could help you, they could help someone. So here they are, my easy sleep bedtime hacks. Number one, try to have a cup of tea before you go to bed. Make sure the tea is decaffeinated though, or a natural tea that's not caffeinated. I really like to drink mint tea before I go to bed, it really relaxes me, but you can also drink something like chamomile or sleepy time, and it should have the same effect. It really relaxes you, and you can drink it however you take it. You can drink it with honey in it, you can drink it with milk, you can drink it with both, you can drink it with plain, which is what I do for my mint tea. And I have found that it really just kind of like relaxes my whole body and gives me like a vibe of relaxation relaxation so that when I do go to bed it really does help me fall asleep. Number two, turn off the lights. And I don't mean turn off the lights when you're about ready to crawl into bed and go to sleep, but I mean turn off your main lights. I'd recommend having like a lamp or some fairy lights like I have in my room, keeping those on. If you keep those on but your main lights off for about an hour before you go to bed, it'll create a more relaxed atmosphere. At least that's what I found for me. And it really helps like bring you down from the day and it makes you feel like more comfortable and tired tired and it's a really great way to de-stress and relax and that way by the time you're crawling into bed you just have to unplug the fairy lights or unplug your lamp or turn it off and you can just go right to sleep. Number three, listen to a chill playlist. Now I have a chill playlist that I listen to almost every night. I plug it into my Bluetooth speaker and listen to it on a low volume and it's just got a bunch of like very calm songs that I love and it helps me wind down for the night. So creating a playlist of like softer songs that will help you calm down at night is a really cool idea and you can listen to it before you go to bed while you're going through your nighttime routine or just while you're chilling reading a book going on social media and things like that and if you guys want to check out my chill playlist it is on my Spotify which is linked below my Spotify is the Riley Kyle so you can find it like that and it's called calm number four this sounds a lot easier than it actually is but one thing that I found that really helps me is a book that I got a while ago from Barnes & Noble and it's called 500 writing prompts so you just open it to a random page and it'll have different writing prompts on it and then a space for you to write in and you basically just follow the prompt and it's something that kind of helps me get my mind off of the daily stresses and helps me put myself into another world. I'm really bad at writing just for my imagination so for someone like me a writing prompts book is great but if you do have a creative mind and a creative imagination using this time to write creatively or come up with a short story or something like that might also work. Five, keep a schedule. It'll help you so much if you try to go to bed around the same time every night and wake up the same time every morning. This is something that I have just recently fell into and let me tell you, it has helped me so much because now my body is starting to know when it's time to go to bed and when it's time to wake up and it's becoming way more natural for me. So having a schedule of when you can go to bed really, really helps your body know when it has to sleep. After you do this for a couple of weeks, it'll start to kick in and it'll feel completely natural. Six. Try some essential oils or pillow spray. I have a lavender vanilla pillow mist that is from Bath & Body Works, I believe. My grandma got it for me and it smells absolutely amazing. And it's a cool thing because you can just mist it on your pillow about five minutes before you go to bed. And then when you go to bed, you're just filled around with this like very relaxing aroma. And it kind of helps me imagine that I'm like in a different place. So it's really, really cool. It smells really nice. You can try it with a ton of different essential oils. I'm not really sure how to do it with essential oils but I'm sure there are other like videos and things on how to do that but I know people have done it in the past but I know that there are different scents of the pillow sprays that you can probably buy on Amazon and they are phenomenal. Seven, if you still can't get to sleep after that, maybe try some melatonin. Melatonin is an over-the-counter medication or like dissolvable that is a natural hormone that your brain already produces. And it's basically the hormone that helps you get to sleep. It could be that your body is not producing enough melatonin and maybe taking a three milligram capsule of melatonin a night will help you fall asleep. I take melatonin every night to help me fall asleep and let me tell you, it knocks me out real fast. It is over-the-counter but I 
I still suggest talking to your doctor if sleep is an issue for you because melatonin isn't the solution for everybody or talk to your parent or something before you go and buy melatonin, but it is a suggestion and I know it works. Eight, try a guided meditation or relaxation. This is something that I have been doing for a long time and one of my favorite people to listen to is on YouTube. Her name is Joanne D'Amico. She's just recently changed her channel name to ASMR Relax for a while. Now, not all of her videos are ASMR, so if you don't like that, you don't have to watch them, but I have particularly enjoyed her sleep relaxation. It's a nice thing to listen to when you're in bed and going to sleep because it helps you visualize and like actually calm down when you listen to her voice and like do as she says. It really helps your body just compress and relax and you'll be out in no time. You can also try other guided meditations and things like that at night before you decide to go to bed because that could help as well. Nine, I know this is very cliche, but try to count or count sheep or something like that. Counting is something that I have done as a trick when I can't get to sleep. I'll just count either out loud or in my head and it kind of shuts off your brain because you're just concentrating on the numbers. If this doesn't work for you, that's totally okay. It doesn't work for everyone, but it is still an idea, so if you haven't tried it, you can try it. And last but not least, 10. Stop looking at the clock. Obviously, if you're getting on a schedule, it's important to look at the clock so you know when you can go to bed, but if you're having trouble falling asleep that night, don't be continuously checking your phone or looking over at the clock in your room to see what time it is. It'll make time go by so slow and it'll make you stay up longer. So try to ignore that clock and just go to bed naturally without worrying about it after it's your time to go to bed. Those are my like tips, tricks, and hacks for being able to sleep easier. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any other like sleeping tricks or hacks that somebody could try that are different from what I've already mentioned. Or you can comment if you tried out any of these like tips and hacks and they helped you. If you want to see and hear more from me, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. I'm on there all the time, but not after 11 because 11 is when I go to bed. <laughs> if you like me a lot and want to see more videos like this, you can also subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, so that's two videos a week coming your way. Like I said, I really hope you enjoyed. I love you guys and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye! Thanks for watching. Make sure